Hi, greeters. Welcome back to our channel and back again with our another info session. Today, we are happy to present Silk by Shanghai University. Founded in 1992, Silk is a cooperative educational venture jointly owned by Shanghai University, SHU in China, and the University of Technology, Sydney, UTS in Australia. By bringing together the best of HSU and UTS, integrating high quality educational resources from abroad and adhering to strict quality assurance measures. SILKS is the foremost Sino foreign cooperative school in China. SILK welcomes more than 390 international students every year, which make up 10% of the total student population. Conversely, SILK sends approximately 290 Chinese students to overseas university for short-term and long-term study program. Silk has also signed exchange agreements with more than 30 universities located in America and Europe. Students not only study business courses at Silk, the instructional language being English, but students can also study basic Chinese courses provided by Silk. In February 2020, Silks received the AACSB accreditation, placing Silks in the world's top 5% of business school. That was a very short piece information about Silk. To understand more details, please welcome Ms. Cleo Ting, manager of Silk International Degree Students Admission. Ni hao, ni hao Ting Lao Shi. Hello. Yeah, nice Hi. to meet you. How nice are you now? Thank you. I'm great. Thank you. Okay. And you can start your presentation, please. Okay, sure. Thank you. First, I'd like to thank you for inviting our school to present today's uh, presentation. I, it's a great honor to introduce our Silk Business School and also our program to all of you. Now I will share the screen and to start our introduction today. Okay. Well, actually, uh, I think our uh, host has just already introduced our school. Okay, so we are uh, one school of Shanghai University. Actually, there are nearly 30 schools and uh, colleges in Shanghai University, and we are only one of them. Okay. Uh, Shanghai University, so it's named after the city Shanghai. Uh, I think most uh, uh, Indonesian students must have heard of Shanghai before. It's a quite big city in China and also the finance center in China. So there are many uh, different countries, people here uh, working and studying and you will find uh, that uh, it's not mm, very difficult to live in Shanghai since most uh, people, especially young people can speak English fluently. And also uh, you can experience Chinese culture in Shanghai. Uh, I also put some uh, images of the sightseeing of Shanghai. There are very famous places. So hopefully uh, in the near future, uh, you will have chance to actually uh, visit Shanghai and uh, uh, we will organize the, the tour and show you all the places. Okay. Uh, now let's uh, introduce our university first. So Shanghai University uh, was established in 1922. Uh, it's a comprehensive university and also a public one. Mm, so actually mm, this year is our 100 year celebration. So we are quite uh, old uh, university. And uh, our QS ranking in the world in 2021 was 387. And uh, uh, it, it was ranked 16 in mainland China. Actually, there are uh, many Chinese universities in China. So the, so the ranking is actually quite good uh, compared to uh, many other Chinese universities. Uh, we have about uh, 4,000 full-time faculty members. Uh, and there are over 2,000 international students. Uh, well, uh, currently there are more than 40,000 students in total in Shanghai University. Uh, before the pandemic, we had 
about 4,000 international students, including some short-term program students. Um, but now most of our international students are degree students. That's why the, the number got decreased. Mm, well, Shanghai University offers many different kinds of programs. Just for degree programs, there are 86 undergraduate programs and 221 graduate programs and 117 doctoral programs. Uh, but since among all the 86 undergraduate programs, only three are English taught programs and they are all in our school. So that's why our school uh, tends to like recruit uh, students separately because we focus on English taught undergrad program and Shanghai University Admission Office, they will uh, focus on the Chinese taught program. Okay. Uh, well, now let's continue to our uh, school. Uh, actually, I think uh, our host has already introduced uh, Silk uh, pretty well. Uh, so like he, he mentioned, we are a joint uh, school between Shanghai University, uh, SHU, and the University of Te Technology Sydney, uh, UTS in Australia. So UTS is another very good university in Australia. So yeah. if you see the, the ranking, yes, it's uh, 133rd uh, in, the, in the world. So it's a quite good and also a young university uh, located in Sydney. Mm, and uh, our school was located in, uh, sorry, our school was founded in 1994 and our stu students have chance to get double degrees from both universities. So later we will, uh, yes, we will talk about this part in detail. Uh, there are some uh, figures of our school. Uh, so in 2020, we received the AES, ASSB accreditation, uh, which makes us one of the top 5% business school in the world. Yes. And uh, we have currently about 4,000 enrolled students on campus. And among the 4,000 students, uh, there are 220 uh, international degree students. Uh, okay. Uh, I well, got some we have question a about the double degree, but finish it first. Ah, okay, we can yeah, introduce the double degree programs later. Uh, so there are more than 100 uh, partners of Silk and uh, we, our students have chance to join different kinds of programs uh, in other countries and other universities. For example, the short-term programs like summer, summer school, winter school, uh, credit programs, and also exchange programs. Uh, and also our students have chance to go to UTS so we will also expand that part later. Okay. Yeah. Any specific requirement if uh, students want to do double degree? Uh, yes, there there are uh, requirements of uh, double degree program application. Uh, basically, there are two main aspects. Uh, the first one is language requirement. You need to have IELTS six point five with writing no less than six. And okay. you, in your first year study, you cannot fail more than two courses. Okay, so when you meet these two requirements, uh, you you can apply for the double degree program. And basically, when you get enrolled, uh, you, you just need to learn extra uh, eight or nine courses okay. in your third year. Then uh, after passing all the eight or nine courses, uh, you will receive the UTS degree. Okay, so uh, I mean, students need to take decision on the first year they're coming to the double degree or they can do it later? Uh, the, the application is in their second year. Okay. So there, there, there is a specific uh, time you can apply for the program. So it's, uh, it's about uh, April or May in their second year. Yeah, nice. Then the double degree student need to go to Sydney, UTS, or they can uh, Well, most uh, of our students won't go to uh, Sydney because if you choose to study in Sydney, in UTS, then you have to pay their tuition fee, ah, exactly. which, is, which is quite expensive compared to our tuition fee. So mm -hmm. most of the students, they were just to stay in Shanghai, in, in Silk, then uh, they, they they don't have to pay extra tuition fee if they are self-funded students. 
So that's why most of the students, they just uh, choose to stay in Shanghai. It is, yeah, because yes. it's cheaper. But it's uh, po uh, possible, right, if the students wants to go, go to, to UTS. UTS? Yes, it's possible. Okay. They can do two years, one year, or I mean? Uh, uh, one year, after one, one year, year. Uh, like one semester or one year. Okay, so it's going to be on the third year, I guess? Yes, third year. The fourth year, they have to come back to, back to Shanghai to do the graduation. Yes, okay. that's right. Thank you. No problem. And now let's continue. Uh, well, the figures uh, here, uh, 400 international students every year is actually also the number before the pandemic. So before we had many different kinds of students coming in, like exchange students and the credit uh, program students. And for degree students, uh, like I mentioned, currently we have 220. So every year about, mm, in recent two years, every year we receive about 50 uh, to 60 uh, international degree students. And uh, among them, uh, about five to eight are from Indonesia. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we all uh, we welcome uh, Indonesian students because uh, uh, just in recent years we realized that Indonesian students are quite hardworking. They did very well in their study, and they joined our activities very uh, uh, actively. So we want to have more Indonesian students join us, and uh, I think our culture uh, is similar. Right, since we are Asian countries and many yes. Indonesian students, they even have relatives here in China. So yes. they will find their life um, uh, much, much easier to adapt in than some yeah. or West, yeah. Western students. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this is the mixed class between the local Chinese, international students with the local Chinese. Uh, yes, actually, uh, our class, our classes are not just uh, for, for example, uh, there are different uh, courses. So if you select this course, so maybe on this class, there are just uh, international students. I see. And if you select that course, maybe there are Chinese students and uh, international students together. So it depends on different courses. But for most of the courses, uh, most of the classes, I think uh, it's mixed group. Yeah. Because okay. our programs are English top programs, and even for Chinese students, their textbooks are English, written in English. Okay, exactly the so, same. Yeah. But this mm -hmm. is good eh? if they have the chance to mix. I mean, like yeah. in, in communication, networking, being friends, doing uh, presentation together, project. Yes, mm. that's right. I think um, once a student, international student, coming to China, they would like to make Chinese friends and know Chinese culture better. So, exactly. and also some of them, they want to uh, speak Chinese, speak Mandarin as well. Yes. So if they just uh, hang out with their own country students, that will be difficult. Uh, so they, they should join like the mixed uh, classes and uh, nice. they can make friends with Chinese students. Mm -hmm. And uh, also I'd like to mention uh, among the 220 international degree students, they are actually over, they're actually from over 50 countries. So we are very diverse, yes. Hmm. So you have chance to meet many different countries, students. Okay. Regarding the internship, it was written like international internship. I mean, the Silk can organize for international students to do the internships. Oh. Uh, that's right. Well, actually, uh, for most the Chinese universities, internship is a must for undergraduate okay. students. Uh, normally, students need to take uh, at least uh, one month internship in their third year summer summer term. Okay. okay. And usually, in summer holiday, they need to at least uh, have one month internship. But it's also accessible if they want to uh, have more internship, like half mm. a year, one year. It's up to the students. But uh, nice. one month is a uh, limit. And if if our students cannot find an internship by themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a career develop, development uh, uh, office and okay. also our international office. We also uh, have our employment uh, basis. So we will help our students to find an internship. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you say like approaching 100% employment rate, this is very interesting figures. Yeah. Uh, uh, Miss Cleo. 
mostly international yes. students mm -hmm. are able to work in China after their graduation? Is it uh, well, uh, actually, uh, this this number is actually mainly for you know Chinese students because mm -hmm. we our school started recruiting students uh, international students from 2015. So okay. currently, we only have like two classes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, among the two classes, uh, graduates, uh, there are not many stay in China, you know, mm -hmm. due to the pandemic. So some of yeah. them, they, they went back to their country and, uh, and couldn't come to China again. But there are some uh, international students li uh, just living in China and working, working here. That's okay. possible. It's, yeah. not, it's not difficult to find a job here, especially in Shanghai, Beijing, this kind of big cities. Nice. Thank you for the information. No problem. Now let's uh, continue to the next part. Okay. So about our programs, now we have three uh, undergraduate programs. They are taught in English. Uh, they are international economics and trade, finance and business administration. Uh, for international economics and trade and finance, there's just a one study direction for each program. And for business administration, there are two study uh, directions students can choose. Okay. okay. Uh, normally for the undergraduate program, do you have the system like the first year they're going to do general education or they uh, can yes. start? Oh, okay, then. Yes, actually, uh, for, actually for the three uh, major students in their first year, their courses are basically the same. Okay. So they're just uh, like you mentioned, some general uh, courses and some basis. Uh, that's why if, for, for example, some students, they, they choose uh, one program uh, in their first year, uh, but after they get enrolled and they talk with their friends or classmates, and they, they want to change to another major, that's also fine because first year, you basically have them courses. It is. So in, in their <laughs> second year, in their second year, you can choose to uh, transfer to another program and to start your like uh, other courses. Okay, so nice students. So you can do first year and then you can still have chance to do uh, change the major on the second year. Yes, because some students, they, uh, they, they, they were not sure before they get enrolled which program yes. to, to join. So they can choose one first. And after you get enrolled, uh, at least uh, I think when you study with us for, for one year, you will have a better idea which program you should choose okay for those three programs which one is i mean like more favorite for international students mm, well uh international economic trade and the business administration uh with this study direction okay innovation, innovation and, entrepreneurship. and entrepreneurship and also these two majors are actually uh our like first level uh majors you know in china so uh, there are some majors in different uh, universities that will uh, compete and uh, will uh, have like first level, second level. So for our programs, international economic and trade and the business administration got the, the first level uh, majors uh, in China. So which means it, 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 the quality is very good for okay. these two majors. Mm -hmm. okay. And also since uh, for finance, uh, uh, students need to uh study mathematics very hard and yes. that's why some students will find it difficult you know in china mathematics uh is not that easy to learn mm -hmm. and especially in english so mm -hmm. that's why some students in their first year if they choose finance they will find it a little bit difficult for them to to learn mm -hmm. like the, the calculus so that's why uh this business administration and international economic trade are more popular Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, for uh, later, I will introduce uh, more details of the program. Okay. And for the master's programs, uh, there are two uh, can be taught in English, uh, finance and accounting. Uh, but this year we focus on finance since uh, there are, I don't think there will be enough students uh, applying for accounting. So, and also uh, accounting is even more difficult uh, that's why I think this year we will only open the major finance. 
uh, hopefully when uh, in the future when China opens the border, there will be uh, much more applicants that we can uh, open both of the majors. As I remember the undergraduate program, you still have in information system and information management, right? But this is not enough international students, so they don't open the classes. Yes. Uh, in the beginning, we 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 open for uh, the all the four undergraduate programs to international students. Uh, mm -hmm. But in the first uh, two or three years, we realized there are not many international students applying for information management. Uh, that's why we just uh, keep three majors for international students. So the other one, the information one, uh, we just recruit the students, uh, Chinese students. Chinese now. students, okay. Yes, hopefully in the future, that... yeah, hopefully uh, yeah. we can open uh, that one in the future. Yeah, actually it's quite hard to find information system and information management taught in English in China universities. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, and also it's not easy to teach that program in, <laughs> in English. This is also a challenge for, for teachers, actually. So okay. that's why if there is only uh, two or three uh, student, international students in a class, the teachers will find it difficult to, yes. to teach. Yes, mm -hmm. because most of them are Chinese students and okay. they prefer to study Speaking Chinese. Speaking Chinese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Like if we have enough uh, international students, then we can, we can open the program. Yeah, cross our finger then. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, uh, let's continue. So for the master's program, there are also five programs are in Chinese, uh, finance, accounting, regional economics, corporate management, management and engineering. So for this five, you will just uh, join the, the Chinese classes. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. now let's uh, have a look at the programs in detail. So for the undergraduate program, uh, the tuition fee is 4,700 US dollars every year, four years program. And like I mentioned, students have chance to get double degrees from uh, SHU and also UTS. So if you study finance and international economics and trade, uh, you will have a bachelor of economics upon graduation. If you study business administration, you will have bachelor of management, okay, when you graduate. And um, if you uh, join the double degree program of UTS, uh, upon graduation, you will have another uh, degree called uh, Bachelor of Business of UTS. So students, 30,000 RMB per year, then you will get yeah. the degree from UTS. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you can look up to the, the UTS tuition fee, it's quite more expensive than the hour tuition fee. So uh, that's why, because uh, our school uh, is funded by these two universities. That's why our students have this good opportunity to have yeah. this double degree uh, without paying extra money. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, uh, next part. Uh, so for the finance, uh, it's a two years program. Basically, you just need to have classes in your first year. And in your second year, uh, you will mainly do internship and uh, writing the graduation paper. Okay. And the, the okay. tuition fee is 7,000 uh, US dollars every year. Uh, for accounting, it's a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, uh, these five uh, Chinese top programs uh, for finance and account, professional accounting, the price is the same as English one. Uh, it's okay. also two years program. But for these three, uh, it's 2.5 years program. The tuition uh -huh. fee is, is, is cheaper, mm -hmm. but it's, um, since it's all fully Chinese taught programs, I think students need to have um, very good Chinese skills. Then yeah, you, can, you can join the programs. Otherwise you will find it difficult to graduate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, next part is the admission requirements. Uh, so I put all the admission requirements here. It, it, it's not that uh, difficult to, to understand. The first one, academic requirements. If you apply for undergraduate programs, you need to have GPA three out of four or it's equivalent. That's also fine. For example, in some countries, they use like 100 uh, score. So uh, in some countries, they use A-level, they use IB diploma. So we accept uh, all kinds of uh, study records. 
that it should be equivalent to GPA three or TOEFL. Mm-hmm. And for the master's program, uh, you need to have a GPA 2.5 out of 4 or its equivalent. Besides, qualified mathematics record is needed. And also, some students, they will say, I'm not graduating yet. That's also fine. Uh, you can just uh, upload your current transcripts. And when you have your final version, you just update them with us. And yep. uh, as long as your final uh, result uh, is meeting the requirements, that's fine. Okay. Yep. And for the language requirements, if you apply for English top program, um, you need to have some English certificate. The most popular one, IELTS and TOEFL, so IELTS 6.5 and TOEFL 90. Uh, since in some countries, students will say it's not easy to take offline classes, uh, offline examinations, mm-hmm. they will ask so except uh, online, uh, there is one Duolingo. Duolingo, uh, yes, nice. Yeah, Duolingo is, is quite popular now. It's mm-hmm. very easy to take the examination online and just in a few days, you can have the result. Yep. And the Duolingo, uh, we, we, the standard is 105. Okay. And also if your previous degree was fully taught in English, that's also acceptable. You just mm-hmm. ask your previous school, for example, your high school, just mm-hmm. ask the school to issue you a proof uh, indicating that your your previous study uh, was fully taught in English. Uh, okay. That's also uh, replaceable. Uh, if you don't have any all of this, uh, we still have our uh, proficiency test. Okay, you can join our own test, but if you use our test, cannot uh, apply for government scholarship. So we still like recommend the students to meet like one of these three. Yeah, okay. options so you can have chance to apply different kinds of scholarships okay and for chinese top programs hsk5 uh, 180 yep. this is the chinese top program mm-hmm. requirement yeah now that's all the uh, admission requirements for the documents uh, so i put the application documents for undergraduate program for master's program, you just need to have one more document, uh, which is a recommendation letters. You need mm. two recommendation letters if you apply for a master's program. Okay. If you apply for uh, undergraduate program, there is no need for a recommendation letter. But if you have one, that would be better. Yes. For example, if you have some uh, honors or awards, research output, that will be better since you want to apply for a scholarship. It will help you a lot. Yes. Okay. So there are some uh, basic required documents, uh, your ID photo, passport photo page, uh, and students need to uh, shoot a video, a selfie introduction video, uh, just to introduce yourself briefly, normally like one to three minutes will be enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. If, if you apply for English top programs, you should uh, take the video in English. Yes. And uh, next one, study plan. Uh, likewise, if you uh, apply for English programs, you should re- re- write it in English. And highest the degree certificate, uh, mm-hmm. if we, like high school diploma, and uh, uh, you need to upload your official uh, academic transcripts. Uh, mm-hmm. Please remember when you uh, when you uh, send the transcripts it needs to cover all the academic years, not just the, your third year. Okay? Yes. Uh, it needs to be uh, like the complete, the full uh, academic year transcript. And if you are not graduating yet, uh, you should ask your school to issue you a pre-graduation proof. Yes. So yes, as long as they can uh, certify that you are a, lo- a current student in their school and in which month you will graduate, and then it, it can be re, uh, replaced. So mm, the next one, language proficiency certificate, mm-hmm. and this this three pro, this three documents uh, can be downloaded um, on the website. So basically, just uh, fill in the form. Uh, there are there are forms. You just uh, fill in the information, and mm-hmm. then uh, sign the signature. For example, uh, like the non-criminal. Uh, record of commitment, mm-hmm. financial support. You need to uh, sign your signature and find the financial support. You uh, also, like your parents, they should sign their signature. And yeah. if you are under 18 years old, there's another guarantee statement. Uh, okay. You need to mm-hmm, get it. So, 
So graders and students, don't, don't be worried about the documents. You may contact us and we will guide you one by one throughout all the preparation of the documents, even when you do the application. Yeah. Mm, that's right, yes. So, so the, the great world will help you with all the documents prepared. And mm -hmm. if there is any question, yes, we can uh, discuss about this. Sure. Okay. Uh, and all the documents should be written in Chinese or English. If uh, if yes. it's in other other languages, you need to get it uh, translated and notarized. Okay. Uh, well, next part. Uh, many students are interested in scholarships. Of course. And uh, we have uh, different kinds of scholarships. Uh, for example, there is Chinese government scholarship, Shanghai government scholarship. Mm, for the government scholarships. Uh, you need to apply separately. So mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, like on our website and also on the government scholarship website, it's kind of um, complicated. But right? mm -hmm. uh, again, they, they can contact uh, uh, Great Wall. They will help you to deal with the scholarship application. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, for this Shanghai University scholarship, uh, you don't have to apply separately. So basically, they will just uh, select uh, from uh, students who apply this for these two scholarships. If you fail government scholarships, then you have chance to get Shanghai University scholarship. Uh, but the coverage is different. For for the government scholarship, it basically covers everything: the tuition, accommodation, uh, insurance, and even stipends. But for Shanghai University scholarship, it covers tuition fee, accommodation, and insurance. And if you cannot get any uh, one of these three program uh, three scholarships. You still have chance for our school's uh, scholarship, the Silk New International Student Scholarship. For our scholarship, it covers different ranges of tuition for weaver, right? To first uh, half of your first year tuition for weaver, first year tuition for weaver, half of four years tuition for weaver, and like four years the full uh, tuition. Wow! Fee. So still got chances to get four years full, hundred percent free tuition. Yeah. Fee. Nice. Yes. That's right. Uh, well, I will give you a number. Actually, last year, uh, there were 50% of our new students have a scholarship with them. Wow. Yes, so wow. like half of our students have scholarship with them because okay. we want to encourage our students to study harder. And mm -hmm. uh, if, uh, if in your first year, uh, for instance, you only have your first year tuition for waiver, uh, but after you get enrolled, there is current student scholarship, which oh, means nice. you have a chance to get a second year, third year, fourth year. Oh. So you always have chance to get next year tuition for Weber as long as you study hard, mm -hmm. uh, behave well. So mm -hmm. yeah, we want to uh, make sure all students have chance to uh, get a scholarship before you apply or after you get enrolled. Nice. So listen, graders, if you're doing a high school now, do the best in your all the academic uh, scores. You know, you have yes. got the chance to get the new international student scholarship or even yes. on the uh, years following like second, third and the fourth year, you can still fight uh, the scholarship with the, your academic when you're doing a silk, of course, then you will have the chances to get uh, more scholarships. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. And also, even for the students uh, who want to continue their master's study with us, so mm -hmm. it, it's quite easier for them to get at least the, the first year tuition for Weaver for your master's study. Basically, as long as you can graduate and with the, with the admission requirements, meeting, meeting the requirements, mm -hmm. then you can, you can have your first year tuition for Weaver wow, for, interesting. Our, interesting. for our school's uh, master's program. Yes, so, okay. Uh, well, the ap application deadline here, this is for the government scholarship, okay, May 15th, as you have chance to have some time. Uh, and for the, the whole program application, uh, it's better you can submit your application before end of June. Uh, okay. But we can give uh, like several days, uh, several more days for, for our partner agencies. Thank uh, you. For Great Wall, so you mm -hmm. can have like one week, uh, one more week. Uh, to, okay. to to help your students apply. So thank you. Uh, you should apply uh, in 
I think in early, yeah, in early July, you better finish all the applications. Applications, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, then that's the uh, part of scholarship. Uh, do, you, do you have any uh, other questions regarding the scholarships? I think I'm fine already. We already okay. asked and discussed about that. Ah, okay, uh, sorry, and there's one more information missing. So mm -hmm. for the our school's scholarship, you also don't have to apply separately. We will okay. select from all the qualified applicants. Yep. Okay, we just uh, uh, we will choose uh, uh, merit based, so you you don't need to bother like apply or not. So mm -hmm. if you if you are good enough, automatically. Yeah, automatically uh, you can you can have the scholarship. Okay. okay, and let's continue. The next part for uh, for the living cost, even though uh, Shanghai is the finance center, uh, the very mm -hmm. big city in China, it's not as cheap as other uh, Chinese small cities. Uh, mm -hmm. But our campus is not in the downtown one. Uh, well, actually, there are three campuses of Shanghai University. Uh, there is one in downtown area. There is another main campus, uh, Baoshan campus, which is very big. And also our uh, school is located in Jading district. Mm -hmm. So Jading campus is not in the downtown, but there is a school shuttle bus among the three campuses. So you can easily take a shuttle bus to the, uh, to the downtown uh, campus, uh, like 30 minutes or to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you can go to the downtown, then you can go to other places easily. Uh, the good thing for not in the downtown is that you don't have to spend a lot regarding your uh, living expenses and like the, also the restaurant. Yes. So uh, I put a, like a, a estimated expenses in total for mm -hmm. you know, one month. So 500 US dollars to 800 US dollars should cover everything. Well, uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and we have our uh, student dormitories. So if you uh, choose like uh, double room and four bedroom, so uh, you can easily get into our dormitories. But we don't have many single rooms uh, on our okay. dormitory. That's why some students, they if they prefer single rooms, they can uh, rent apartment with their friends outside okay. the campus. There are many apartments nearby our campus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the most common is they stay in the double or four four bedroom. Right? I assume the yes. four bedroom is thirty RMB per day. Ah uh, yes, yes, okay. thirty RMB uh, for four bedroom and for mm -hmm. double room uh, is sixty. Okay. Sixty sixty RMB every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, rent outside, I think the price is basically same for double rooms and a single room. Mm -hmm. But the accommodation international students uh, students dormitory it's inside chatting campus yeah campus yes okay. it's, it's inside the campus okay mm -hmm. uh, well uh, we also put some comparison with other uh, countries business schools so normally for a business school the tuition fee is is not cheap you know mm -hmm. and uh, if you uh, have a look at some uh, like developed countries. Uh, like the United States, the tuition fee is almost a 10 times as oh. our tuition fee, right? So it, it's quite uh, uh, expensive if you go to some Western countries. Uh, but if you choose to study in China, not only you can uh, experience Chinese culture, you can learn uh, how Chinese people doing business. You know, in recent uh, uh, decades, China is developing very fast. We are very good at uh, like uh, doing business. Yeah. So that's what international student interested to study in China. <laughs> yeah, and also yeah, they want to learn more like how to how to do business in China, and mm -hmm. maybe uh, if they join the the business related programs, they will know better, and uh, they can they can either choose to set, uh, to work in Shanghai in China, or they can go back to their own countries to even start their own company, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, our tuition fees is very, very cheap compared to other countries. Uh, but when you graduate, you can actually earn, uh, earn a lot compared to the tuition fee. So we can see for uh, on average, um, uh, undergraduate student when they graduate, 
uh, in their first uh, several years. I think every year, 17,000 know, US oh. dollars. Uh, oh. Yes, it's, uh, it's easy to get. And for postgraduate students, uh, 26,000 US dollars every year. So it's, it's the average annual salary in Shanghai. Okay, so you can see compared to the tuition fee, uh, yeah, our indeed. tuition fee is, 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 is quite cheap. Okay. And this is a very uh, nice figure, sorry, uh, Miss Cleo, because I see, uh, because Silk is a joint degree with UTS Australia, and you see the figures, mm -hmm. 4,700 compared to 18,000 something. So it is like nearly four times the tuition in yeah. uh, if you go to Australia, UTS, and you still get a double degree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you shouldn't miss this, right? <laughs> yeah. Miss this good opportunity if you want mm -hmm. to uh, study in China and mm -hmm. if you want to study in business. Okay. And for the internship part, actually, I think we have already like talked about this before, mm -hmm. and we have our uh, own uh, internship and employment basis. So you don't have to worry about internship. We'll help you find one. Uh, but for the for for this part, it's actually I think it's mainly for the for the Chinese graduates. So I won't go uh, to this part in detail. Our Chinese students, when they graduate, they they have to, most of them they go to very sorry very big uh, companies, and uh, many of them they will choose to further their master study in different countries. And so our Chinese students are also also very. Um, very good. Most of them uh, can find a good job or they can go to a quite good university after graduation. Okay, and hopefully we can have have, have much more uh, good international students, uh, even though for now we don't have many alumni, international alumni, but uh, since we are, uh, we intend to be uh, in international business school, so we definitely want to have more international students. And we want to um, give good education to our international students and help them to find a good job after graduation. Okay, so this part is our on-camp dormitory. Uh, I just mentioned that we have our international student dormitory on campus. So actually this building is, is the dormitory. There are four floors and this one is just for international uh, students. This is the front desk and uh, think, uh, double room is like this. There's a private uh, bathroom inside the double room. This is the four bedroom. Okay. Uh, you can see the upper is a, is a bed and uh, uh, here is a desk. So for the uh, four bedroom, uh, there is no uh, private bathroom inside. But on every floor, there is public uh, bathroom and public like uh, shower room. Uh, mm -hmm. And there is a public kitchen inside, a uh, washing machine. So, uh, and also living on campus, you will feel uh, more convenient, right? It's easier to go to your classroom, easier to have food, like go to the canteen. Uh, we have mm -hmm. two canteens on campus. Uh, mm -hmm. you, can, you can take food there. Uh, it's quite, uh, quite easier. And, uh, mm, Oh, here are more facilities. I think I also sent uh, a video uh, to uh, to Great Wall, right? Yes. You should have the video. And they can have a look at our uh, campus. Our international students uh, will introduce our campus for you, so you can have a look. Uh, yeah. For uh, here, I only put several images here. So our campus is not a new one. Uh, it has a history of more than si sixty years but it, it's quite green. Uh, and uh, inside every building, we renovate it. Uh, recent, in recent years, every year we, we renovate a, a building. So even from outside, you can see the, the building is not very new and modern, but mm -hmm. actually inside, especially for the teaching building, is quite modern. Mm -hmm. nice. And uh, yeah, that's some pictures. Uh, we have many different kinds of activities just for international students like the Chinese culture exhibition and, uh, and different cultures uh, and also like soccer game, Christmas party and some Chinese traditional celebration. You know, there are many Chinese festivals every year. 
So mm-hmm. uh, according to different uh, festivals, uh, like the the rules, so we will have a celebration together with our international students. And uh, you can also join the International Students Union, and you can also be our student ambassador. Uh, and also in Shanghai University, in the main campus, uh, there are even more international students, in, mm-hmm. like 2,000 international students, and they have even more activities. You can feel free to join any of them. Okay. Yeah, that's all the, all the programs uh, and uh, yeah, some information. If you are interested in our school, if you're interested in our uh, business programs, just uh, don't hesitate. Contact the Great Wall and they will help you to apply for us. Okay. And you have have big chance to get the scholarship and, Thank uh, you. and get the double degree. Okay. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Cleo. Well, greatest. Okay. This is the end of today's info sessions with Silk. We hope that creators get a better understanding of Silk. Thank you for listening. And if you still have more questions, please do not hesitate to contact us for further consultation and assistance. Or you may leave a comment in the comment column down below. As for greatest information, again, Great Wall can help you with all of your needs regarding China education, starting from consultation, university application, and even extra services upon your arrival in China. And the best thing is we are 100% free service fee. Once again, we would like to say thank you, uh, Silk, and especially Ms. Cleo Ting for the support and great presentation. Very, thank very you. nice. Okay. Greatest, if you like this video, please press the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you, Greatest, and see you on our next video. Zaijian. 再见。